Today, we show you the wildest moments in darts history. At the end, we show you the wildest moment ever that you don't want to miss. So keep watching. During the Unibet Premier League, Mardle didn't hold back in criticising Rob Cross. Mardle had a problem with Cross's unique paws before throwing the dart. He questioned if it was a good way to play the game, but Cross, who became famous by beating Phil Taylor in 2018, didn't back down. After the matches, Cross got frustrated and responded to Mardle's comments. He defended his right to play the game in his own way, including keeping his paws. Cross said, as a professional darts player, he's responsible for his actions on the stage. He can choose to pause, skip a certain target, or do anything else he wants. Cross said, I pay my own bills and take care of my kids, so nobody else can tell me how to play the game. He explained that his playing style is his personal choice, and it has brought him success. He even challenged Mardle, suggesting that if Mardle had such strong opinions, he should pay Cross's bills. Only then would Mardle have the right to tell Cross how to play. Mardle's criticism didn't affect Cross's performance on the scoreboard. Despite the argument, Cross continued to play well and won two out of his first four matches in Milton Keynes. During the 2017 World Championship in darts, there was another moment involving Wayne Mardle. After Phil Taylor's hard-fought victory over Kim Hybrecht in the third round, they had a post-match interview in the Sky Sports studio. When Mardle asked Taylor about his performance in the previous round against Kevin Painter, hitting a sensitive spot, Taylor, visibly frustrated, responded with a strong retort, expressing his displeasure with Mardle's question. The tension in the studio escalated as Taylor replied, you of all people shouldn't ask me a question like that. You're going to put me in the- However, the host Dave Clark quickly intervened, skillfully changing the subject and diffusing the situation before it escalated further. In the world of darts, rivalries can get intense, like during a match between Phil Taylor and Raymond Van Barneveld. In the semi-finals of the 2013 World Championship, Taylor emerged victorious with a 6-4 win, inching closer to his 14th title. However, it was what happened after the match that stole the spotlight. As Taylor and Van Barneveld shook hands, tension filled the air and words were exchanged. Taylor, overcome with frustration, pushed Van Barneveld away with his arm. Not one to back down, Van Barneveld responded with a light shove to Taylor's back. This fiery exchange left spectators shocked. Taylor later expressed regret and disappointment in himself, acknowledging that his reaction was inappropriate. He admitted that the incident stemmed from the pain caused by Van Barneveld's strong handshake, but he emphasised his admiration for his opponent and his remorse over the altercation. Taylor reached out to Van Barneveld to offer a sincere apology, hoping to mend their relationship and move forward. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. Another wild moment took place at the 2019 World Championships involving James Wade. Following a hard-fought victory over Sergio Asada in the second round, Wade created a stir during a post-match interview. His unexpected statement left spectators in disbelief as he confessed, I wanted to hurt him. I want to really hurt him in his face. Giving it to him, I, I wanted to hurt him. I wanted to, you know, really hurt him in his face. And um, won a great game, but I wanted to hurt him. Wade's comment carried significant weight and shocked the darting community. Fans fellow players and analysts were taken aback by the level of intensity and aggression displayed by Wade, who is typically a very composed person. Realising the impact of his words, Wade then swiftly issued a sincere apology. In his apology, Wade attributed his behaviour to occasional episodes of hypomania, a condition he grapples with. He expressed deep disappointment in himself, acknowledging that his actions on and off the stage were a departure from his usual character. With genuine remorse, he stated, anyone familiar with my professional career knows that this behavior is highly uncharacteristic of me and I'm genuinely disappointed in myself for the way I acted. In 2012, during the World Grand Prix, Justin Pipes celebrated vigorously after a heartfelt victory over Kevin Painter. With a thrilling 3-2 win, Pipe couldn't contain his excitement. As the final dart landed in the deciding leg, Pipe erupted in elation. He punched the air and threw a series of shadow punches, reveling in his triumph. However, his opponent, Kevin Painter, stood at the hockey, waiting for the customary post-match handshake. Time seemed to slow down, as Painter grew increasingly frustrated. Pipe's exuberance showed no signs of stopping, leaving Painter in disbelief. Eventually, the anticipated handshake took place, but the tension in the air was high. 
Painter's angry glare pierced through Pipe as he quickly retrieved his darts and left the stage, unable to witness the continued celebrations. Next wild moment happened in 2006, when a young Adrian Lewis was making waves in the world of darts, reaching the quarterfinals of his debut world championship, where he faced off against Peter Manley, resulting in one of the sport's wildest moments. Right from the start, Manley took an early lead and employed mind games to throw Lewis off his game. Lewis, determined to prove himself, became increasingly frustrated by his opponent's constant banter and retorts. Lewis eventually reached his breaking point. Succumbing to his anger, he abruptly left the stage, forfeiting not only control of the match, but also control of his emotions. As the crowd chanted, only one Peter Manley throughout the circus tavern, the referee was sent to retrieve Lewis from backstage. However, by the time Lewis reluctantly returned to the stage, it was too late. Manley secured a 5-3 victory, leaving an indelible mark on Lewis's first world championship appearance. Looking back on the incident years later, Manley provided his perspective, stating that he never crossed the line and often only needed a few well-timed words to disrupt his opponent's concentration. According to him, during the match with Lewis, he had asked Adrian to stop expressing his disapproval through totting. Lewis disagreed, and what followed was a comical exchange of, you was, you wasn't, you was, you wasn't. Eventually, Lewis walked off the stage, much to everyone's surprise. Another such moment took place during a match between Adrian Lewis and Gerwin Price at the World Match Play. These two competitors had a long-standing rivalry and their clash in 2015 was highly anticipated. In that match, Price came out on top, leaving Lewis eager for a chance at redemption. The following year, fate granted them a rematch and Lewis seized the opportunity to settle the score. He employed an unconventional tactic by mocking Price and positioning himself defiantly as an opponent's path at the hockey, refusing to back down. Surprising Lewis's strategy seemed to work. He went on to secure an impressive 11-5 victory over Price. Lewis didn't mince his words when expressing his thoughts on Price. That just shows why he is a nobody, Lewis declared. You can practice all you want, but you can't practice crapping yourself. Finally, we have the infamous 2018 Grand Slam of Darts final between Gerwin Price and Gary Anderson. It was a match that would go down in history for both its thrilling comeback and its heated moments of anger. As the match unfolded, Gerwin Price found himself trailing 11-8 Eight, seemingly on the brink of defeat. However, the Welshman launched an extraordinary comeback, eventually securing a remarkable 16-13 victory to claim his first major PDC title. Yet it wasn't just the remarkable turnaround that captured the attention. Throughout the match, tensions between Price and Anderson escalated, resulting in clashes and heated exchanges. Anderson grew increasingly frustrated by Price's deliberate slow play and what he perceived as excessive and flamboyant celebrations. The crowd at the Wolverhampton venue, caught up in the drama, began to voice their disapproval through boos and jeers. However, rather than deterring Price, the negative response seemed to fuel his determination driving him to be even more expressive and performance. The aftermath of the contentious final saw Gerwin Price facing the consequences of his actions. He was handed a suspended ban and fined £12,000 for his behaviour, with an additional £8,000 penalty for his antics against Simon Whitlock in the quarterfinals. Eventually, both fines were reduced by half. Reflecting on the incident, Price clarified that while there may not be any personal animosity between him and Anderson, there is a stark contrast in their on-stage personas. It is okay between us, and we say hello to each other, but that's it, Price stated. I don't hate him, it just sometimes bothers me how he is on stage versus how I am. I am who I am. Everyone plays their own game, some are slower than others. It's all about how you deal with that. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time.